shirts, you may ask? I have merch! <laughs> so many of you guys had asked, do you have any t-shirts saying happy painting on them? Well, now I do. You can check it out in my merch bar. <laughs> Um, I ended up working with uh, one of my dear friends, Rin Skadauna. We put our minds together. We came up with some t-shirt designs and I cannot wait to upload them all to the store. I've got a couple in there now if you guys want to check them out. Um, but it's just one of the many things in 2020 that I have coming. My, my brain is full of ideas. I can't wait to share them all with you. I'm not going to do a spoiler alert yet, but I do have some other stuff planned. So can't wait for all of that, but I'm sure you can't wait to get started on the painting. So tonight I'm doing two canvases. I'm doing the triangular pour again, where I tape off the um, edges. I'm going to do opposite colors, uh, cat cornered, and I'm going to make it hopefully so that it looks kind of like waves splashing up into each other. So we'll see how it goes. Let's get started. I wanted to take y'all's recommendations and try this pour again with two of them. And somebody said do it in ocean blues and you didn't have to tell me that twice. So I am using Amsterdam um, acrylics and water again. I made a decision to do catacornered colors for the outer blue pour. So I don't know. I don't know if that was the right thing to do or not, but we'll find out. I hope I have enough paint for both sides too. So you guys saw how I, oh, I put too much on that side, I think. You guys saw how I blew it out the last time. So, oh my gosh, y'all, these two, I'm loving these two colors already. These two are the, um, let me see. This is Brilliant Blue by Amsterdam, and that's the Thalo Blue. I got a little bit on the white side, but when I peel the tape up, I think it'll be fine. So I always peel the tape to the side of the color. See, I got that little part right there, but that's okay. Okay, one part down. is done there. Now I'm going to wipe these little spots right there just so that it won't be wet when the white comes off. So same thing here. I'm going to pull it up to the side of the, I'm just using 3M tape here. Pull it off to the side. And again, it's going to be blown out so it doesn't have to be like absolutely perfect. Now I'm gonna pour my white. I hope I have enough white. I might have to mix up a little bit more. So I've got that in the middle and then just like I did on the other one, whoops. I can't talk to you guys while I pour. I just wanna come really close to the color. Just like that. Okay, and then I'll blow that out in the center. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And I don't know if you guys can see, but the colors just automatically line right up together once they touch. There we go. Now I want to make sure I can save a little to put in them, so I might have to make up a little bit more. Okay, so on this side, I'm going to layer my Prussian blue closest to the Brilliant blue. And then I think I'm going to do the sky blue on this side next to the phthalo blue. I'm just making this up as I go along. <laughs> I 
Next is my greenish blue. I'm going to have that on both sides. Oh my gosh, these colors are amazing. Now my sky blue over here. Oops, forgot that I had them crossed. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys haven't checked out Amsterdam paints, you guys definitely should. People were asking, you can buy them online. You can buy them at Michael's, I think people said, uh, online. There's all kinds of places. Okay, and then Prussian blue, Prussian blue. I want a little bit of white in them. And the rest of the white will go around. Hope I have enough paint left. Okay. All right. See, so yeah, it was funny, my husband the other day was uh, walking past our wall where I show you guys everything. And he said, I had all my paintings down, I was cleaning, and he was like, where do all these holes come from? And I was like, what are you talking about? There's no holes there. But it's because he never sees it because there's always paintings hanging in our house. <laughs> I'm like, what? What are you talking about? There's no holes. I will have a lot to do if we ever sell this <laughs> There's holes everywhere, guys. Okay, almost there. Now I gotta figure out which way I'm gonna blow this. Oh, geez. Okay, all right. Okay, I blew a lot on this one because this side got a little bit wonky because I was like over here trying to blow these. So, eh. All right, I might, I'm gonna fiddle for a second and blow these out a little bit more. Oh, let me torch first, see what pops up.
Yeah, so I'm definitely gonna do this again. And the next time I think I'm gonna mix because my creative inspirations are pretty cell reactive. I'm gonna mix some of the creative inspiration paint in with the Amsterdam white. Because what I'm finding right now, and it could be my consistency, but what I'm finding now is that the Amsterdam white really works best with other brands of paint to make cells. That's just my personal opinion. Ooh, I had a thing there. Okay, let me keep torching. to turn my overhead light off. Okay, there they are. Gorgeous. Here's what happens when I torch. Are all those beautiful little cells, they look like bubbles, like look at that. Which is perfect because I wanted this to look like water. There's no silicone, this is just paint and water. Using Amsterdam paints, look at those cells. Ah, I love it. <laughs> you definitely don't want to torch too much though. You will cook your paint and it will break. So I'm worried up here that I may have done it too much. So I'm gonna see how this dries, but look at those little clusters. I can't even get close enough to show you guys. Ah, oh, man. Love it. There you go. I lost a lot of the white space in the middle. I put too much paint down. I blew a little wonky, but this is just me, guys. This is all it is. All right. I'll show you when they're dry. Okay, this is how they dried. So you guys had asked for kind of side-by-side -side split canvas ones. So... The cells, the, and it's not too much cells. And somebody was asking for harder lines here. So I feel like this really, it's kind of soft and water-ish and playful, but at the same time, I do. I like kind of the hard lines that stopped here instead of like all wispies. But yeah, just absolutely beautiful. And I like the fact that I did kind of the opposite colors on each side. I like that. I just, I think it's stunning. I don't know if it's like water splashing into each other, or you guys can let me know if you had like a different, if you think a different orientation of them. Because I don't know if it would look better. I mean, I guess if I did them, okay, hold on, I'm going to turn. Don't get dizzy. I guess if I did them like that... Then they would be like water dripping down each other. I don't know. I don't even know if I can do this on my phone that way, but. <sighs> yeah, super love it. Really, really pretty. The colors are phenomenal. And I mean, you see it dries super smooth. No issues whatsoever. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Happy painting. Bye.